Okay, yes, it has been three weeks since Shadow and Bone season two came out, but I'm finally feeling better. Of course, when season two came out, I was sick and I only started getting better a few days ago. But then I went to Megacon, then I had a full day of filming, and then I was helping feed the homeless. But I'm back. I'm back. I'm excited. It's been almost three weeks since I filmed the last video, which is so wild to me. So because it's been so long, let's do a recap. Episode 1 of Season 2, Mal and Alina, they're on the run. They are looking for the second amplifier, the Sea Whip. And then in Episode 2, they find it. They partner with Patty Gibson, a pirate, privateer. Um, and then they're the two, the, the siblings. Um, were their names said? I think they were, and I just don't remember. Also in Episode 1, we meet Wylan. Wylan and Nina, they join the crows, and we get to see that dynamic in episode two. And they ended off after their standoff with Pekka Rollins and the the creepy guy, um, who was like, um, who was, um, what the hell? I don't remember the name. Okay. It's not my fault. But then they are hiding out in a crypt, right? And my theory is that it has something to do with Kaz's backstory because okay so after season one before season two I learned that Kaz had a brother who died and I learned that he has a fear of touching like a you know skin to skin contact so I learned that before season two and got to witness that in both of these episodes that I've watched so far knowing that and then seeing how he's having like these flashbacks with Pekka you know, my assumption is that Pekka has something to do with his brother's death. And we saw like the little clip of him kind of like surrounded by these dead bodies, which might be, you know, the cause for why he can't deal with, you know, human, like physical touch. Kirigan and Alina, they're having like these shared dreams, learning that the other one is alive. Did we get to that point? No, we didn't get to that point. But I think Alina, or sorry, Kirigan knows that Alina's alive but Alina just assumes these are nightmares. Jenya is terrified of Kirigan, and Matthias is in Hellgate. All right, I think I summed it up. Probably gonna cut a lot of that out because I I mean, you could just go watch my other reactions. I only just started editing No Shelter But Me reaction today, so I'm just recalling my knowledge of watching these episodes one time through three weeks ago. But in that time, because I follow Shadow and Bowen and a lot of the actors on Instagram, I have seen spoilers because of the behind the scenes. Um, nothing too major. One of them, I wouldn't really say is a spoiler because I knew it was going to happen because I learned of the ship after watching season one before season two came out and I saw they were planting seeds of it in season one. Um, if you know, you know. The second thing is, I mean, I'm just curious what's gonna lead to that situation. I'll say it when the time comes, um, but in case you don't know what it is, I won't spoil anything. I'm still waiting for Milo to show up in the season. If he doesn't, we're gonna have some words. Netflix. I'm so excited to finally be getting back into the series because I've been wanting to get back to it, but I wanted to wait until I felt better, and now that I am better, I'm just... I'm so excited. I'm so... What are, the, what are the synonyms again? I am so ecstatic. I am so amused. Wait, 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 guys. You know the drill. Make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notified whenever I post a new video. Season 2 Shadow and Bone reaction should be coming in way sooner, way, way quicker than the Season 1 reactions did. Hopefully. That's, that's the goal. Now it's time to watch Season 2 Episode 3, Like Calls to Like. That's like how I speak. I use like a lot. Like, I don't, I don't even like, I, I don't know, like, I've been talking for 10 minutes. Let's watch the episode. Dun dun. I, I kind of like forgot how to film a video. One hour? God damn! Oh shit! Mm. Tattoo that in my brain. I remember, I just edited the trailer reaction a few days ago. The flying ship? What is that about? Oh, f I forgot that happened. The merging. Yeah, the scales. Ready to take on the fold? Ready to take on the world. Like that energy. Land travel is so boring. Let's fly! 
They have magic, that's how they can fly. Kinda forgot about that. Yeah, so that whole second part, just flying up. Whoa. How is this even possible? Airplanes don't exist. We barely know you. We got the hummingbird, the crows. Oh no, let's not. Let's not. If you want to help, instead of spurting useless historical facts, go with Jasper. Hey, no need for the hostility. He'll get a message to you, Fiona. Can we trust him? No. I can trust that he doesn't want Pepper to know what I have on him. What you did tonight made you a crow. Yay. His brother's probably dead. I actually don't know if he died or not. I assume. I was gonna say, is she okay? Stop lurking. Come in. Oh no. There was a time we were united in our beliefs. Before you went off the deep end. But you told me that Grisha was superior, that you should fear us. That's not good teaching. I, I taught you strength. Never compassion. Yeah, it I seems like your fault. He's like this. And the little saint. I will find her. And what I did was a moment when you might have earned her love. Of forgiveness. Another lesson. She got you. She got you there. Into the dark fold. Mm. Let's maybe cut that out. That's just a bit of pitch black and bloodthirsty monsters. Yeah. What's not to laugh? <laughs> I feel stronger than ever. Yeah. This is my chance to finally eradicate it. Eradicate? I don't think you're strong enough. No offense. I think. Well, there are four amplifiers. You have two. I think you need all four. Also, it's too early. It's episode three out of eight for season two. Okay, pretty strong, I admit, but I don't think it's enough. Or maybe I'm wrong. I'm watching. Oh. Yep, she's gonna pass out. Ew. Forgot how ugly they are. Oh, oh, that's not good. That is not good. Oh, damn! Did someone just fly out the boat? That's what it looked like. You made it. Good job, guys. Are the main characters okay? No, you need all of them. What are the other ones? A uh, dragon or phoenix something? I don't remember. Identify yourselves. It can't be. Yes, it is. He's famous. My prince. Oh, what? He's royalty? Oh, shit. Hey. And second son to his most royal majesty, King Piotr the Third. Kind of makes sense for. Words, as I recall, the greenest, What's gonna happen? Oh, this looks miserable. David! Oh, he's there. Oh my god. Oh my god, that is terrifying. I remember the princess getting descriptions in the book. I still, I've had it next to me the entire time. I could also just be like making this up. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. They are creatures of Yes. Not of the fold of me. But like the fold is you, essentially. So Protection. one and the same. The creation has left me plain by a cough and aches that pierce behind the eyes like hot nuggets. Well that's how I was for three weeks. <laughs> <coughs> My week has been sponsored by this box of tissues as well as Mucinex. Hope you don't find out. I did see like a behind the scenes post or a frame from a future episode 
that has Genya in it. And I'm really curious as to what happens to her. Maybe something to do with the shadow monsters. So the Darkling just said that they are always there, but only become visible when he's in danger. They showed up last episode, was it? When Genya was there. So is that like a little foreshadowing there, perhaps? Go back to the crows. I love the angst and tension of it all. Friends don't hide who they really are from each other. They barely know each other. Stone on the other hand. Was a pirate. Pirate here. How was that any more helpful than a prince? I was responsible for hiring Kaz Brecker and his crow. That was you. Welcome to the spinning wheel. I'm disappointed that it's a building and not just this giant spinning wheel. Who's this? Oh, Nadia! It's been a while. Is that the same? Mm. Hold on. Twelve seconds later. I knew it. I knew it was a different actor. I was like, who is that? Because I knew, I knew that wasn't her. Why'd they recast her? You can't get anything past me. That is not true at all. There are so many things that just go over my head. So many Greece are outside the little palace. The first time we raided the little palace. Zoya? You came back. I said I would. Ow. I knew it. I just edited the finale reaction a few days ago, so it feels like just yesterday I saw her. I do not like her. I don't know if she's gonna get redemption or whatever. She just so annoying. Is that why you were so cruel to me at the little palace? Trying to toughen me up. She was jealous. That was jealousy. Yeah. Honestly, she's not that bad. She might win me over. You need alliances. I'm here to offer you mine. She's already more likable. Fuck. Really? You need all the help you can get. Ugh, she's winning me over. I just... <laughs> Ugh. Literally a minute and a half ago, I was like, I don't like her. I'm not gonna forgive her. And then she's already winning me over? What the fuck? <gasps> My boys. How's that hat staying on your head? It's magic. Tell you what, that we met before. He did! Hi, I wasn't expecting you. Do you want? We... You didn't remember me. He literally did, in episode one. When I woke up, you were gone. <gasps> oh. Oh, shit. You're about to see the child. Tuning and repairs? Uh, we're here to fix the piano Mr. Rollins sent us. Good thinking, Wylan. Oh, I love him so much already. Did you cut this wire? He's a child. He did it. <laughs> yeah. Did that have a replacement? Yeah. Of course. No. Use your magic, Jesper. Perfect. That's beautiful. Um, I think that if you had a bit more practice... Um, oh, he's a piano master. That. He's like... Those people at parties who are like, you know, I haven't played in so long, but let me just... I have no idea how to play piano, so I'm just... Inez, you're back. Taxidermy. Thank you. That's the name. I was trying to. I was trying to think of what the word was, but just. Um, who is like um, who is um? You are gambling with our lives, and I deserve to know the reason. You owe me that much, Inez. Your arm. She's gonna take it off. I've seen a frame of this. I've seen pictures. Ugh. Becca Rollins killed my brother. Let me destroy him. Gonna pause it there just so my camera doesn't die before. <sighs> I need to breathe. <sighs> I need to breathe. Are you okay? Are you breathing? I don't think I am. It froze. It froze for a second. Oh my god.
I love them together. Nina and Inej need more scenes with them. I'm not here for the washed up catchers and cowards. Do you have money to pay them? I'm here for the hungry ones, the hard ones. The what? Kill this barrel rat. Really? Let's go. Oh, he took that punch beautifully. I'll hire them. I recommend the cane. <laughs> this is his price, his blood, and I am happy to pay with yours. Come on, boys, let's go. You're all with me now. Yes, sir. No, ew. Ew. <laughs> Ding ding. <laughs> why is that so funny? I'm sorry, why is it his bare hands when he's doing his work? That's disgusting and so unhygienic. Ew. Speaking of unhygienic, what the f what was that? Ooh. That was beautiful. Ooh. Yeah. He needed to go. He was way too much. You're gonna tell me where to find the firebird. Firebird. I was thinking That's Phoenix. The it's the last piece that she needs. She has the sea whip. Is there only three? I, I thought there were four. Please. If there's any one more thing I do need from you. What? Oh. <clears throat> oh! What? That just escalated. Is this Regulus? I don't. Oh my. I wouldn't do it. Go. Now. No, he will stop you. He will stop one of you. It's Kerrigan. Trailer. Besides, he's the only one who can do the cut. Bagra, yes, but it's only a matter of time before word reaches him about your attempt in the fall. Attempt. No, no, it was an attempt. Well, until then, a proposal. <clears throat> a proposal. We can stop this country from falling apart. How do you propose we do that? <laughs> Bring you propose. This is a proposal. Proposal. Mm -hmm. You're suggesting I'm marriage. Proposing a love match. That makes sense. It's a strategical move. Nina, you're a living saint. I might not be enough. All that matters. I'm waiting for that random sex scene that was in the trailer. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, no, no. <gasps> Shit. Why? Why is he here? You have so many other things to do, sir. Oh, shit. How did this- This is so stupid. How did this even happen? They just want to hang out somewhere quiet. Mm -hmm. He knows you're there, David. Genya called your name out. Find out, Mr. Costa. Just with me. Are you worried about me? <laughs> saw your face when the crack on your work. And I'm not going anywhere. Actually, you're walking away from Germanic face. There's <laughs> a boy there. What's his name? Oh, shit. Don't pretend otherwise. I'll be. Explosions, not that kind. I finally found a weapon to end all of this. What weapon? Suffering. Ew. Why? That was disgusting. Well, there's wolves. I remember seeing in a video on Instagram. <gasps> Doggies! Oh, they're so cute! <laughs> Sorry. Whenever like a cute animal goes on screen, my voice goes up to ten octaves. <laughs> Oh no, Matthias. Not now. Is here. He's here? Oh shit! Matthias! 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 Oh my god! Cannibal. Oh, that's lovely. That's that's great. I wanna see Hannibal in this ring. Mass Mickelson himself. Oh! I wonder if Matthias is gonna see her. 
Oh shit. Ew, his teeth. Slow-mo. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Shit. Pack up. No! Kaz. That's how my coughs were sounding. <coughs> yes. Yes. Oh. Oh, Dolly Zoom. Normal Zoom. The candles put out. <gasps> this place is nice. God damn. I mean, he's a prince. I've made my decision. Yeah, you'll go through with it. <laughs> so that was season two, episode three of Shadow and Bone. Oh, that episode was good. Okay. So Alina and Mal and Nikolai and siblings whose names I don't remember slash don't know if it was ever said. Anyways, they all made their way through the fold on a flying pirate ship. Privateer ship. Lena exhibited her newfound power, but it wasn't enough to destroy the fold. Instead, it's heightening these nightmare memories of Kirigan saying that she's not strong enough to do this on her own, trying to lure her to the dark side. But they made it through the fold, made their way in Ravka to the sanctuary. We find out that uh, Sturmond is actually Nikolai, and I knew his name was Nikolai, but I guess it wasn't from the series, and it was like from Instagram or Twitter or like one of the interviews, and I've just been calling him that the whole time. <laughs> And I didn't know that wasn't his name. Turns out that he's royalty and he actually wants to help. I assume he does. I don't think he has bad intentions, but who knows. So he proposes a proposal. Um, the thing I saw, like one of the spoiler things I saw was like they them together, like married or engaged. I, I'm not sure which one it was, but I saw like a you know picture of it. So it makes sense. It was a strategic decision to connect Grisha and Otkazatia. The crows. Oh, the crows stuff always gets me. I love them. Like the, the, that, 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 I could, I would love if there was an entire series just with the crows. Like what if they had shadow and bone then they have six of crows and then they'd have crossover episodes that would be amazing i just want more crows content that's that's why i'm saying that so we got a lot more with kaz this episode we got to dive deeper into his backstory see a side of him we haven't seen before and oh my god oh my saints i love the fight scene what he did when he did the like cane and then threw the chair <laughs> him being super hostile towards everyone except Frinej and her that fight scene with the taxidermist whatever his name was Morgan nope <laughs> that's that's not right <laughs> just Morgan yeah um he died thanks saints good riddance we got to have some Jesper Wyland scenes um, find out that they have a past, even though Wyland said it in the first episode. <laughs> but I love seeing more of them. Um, I, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I just love them. But, you know, they're against what Kaz wants to do because they don't know why he's so passionate about this feud with Pekka. And, you know, they don't want the kid being caught in the crossfires, which is very understandable, and I'm with them on that. I think Kaz needs to be more open. 
because you know that's not who he is. But, I mean, it's the crows, so he should, you know, try to open himself up like that instead of acting super aggressive with all of his walls up. Then we had Nina. Kaz told her how to get a message to the dice. Then when she got to Hellgate, she saw him fight and try to get his attention, but he just kept walking and she was apprehended by Pekka, who obviously wants to use her to get Kaz. And he doesn't know why Kaz <laughs> hates him so much. Because I'm sure what he did to Kaz's brother, he does to so many people. <gasps> and then David finally came back, reunited with Jenya. Jenya tried to warn him to go away, and then Kerrigan showed up. And then David was brought into the fold, pun intended learned that you know he has this condition learned a bit more what's going on saw him cut off bagra's finger which was so out of the blue because i was just talking i was like you know what i still need to figure out who's regulus black because you know we got ben barnes serious black always um we have alina as remus we have the stag as james potter and then we have the apparat greasy rat. I was like, we need a Regulus. So I think it's just gonna be that random guy whose name I do not know. Speaking of random guy, the guy who used his powers to help them get through the fold, where is he? Where is he now? But David and Jenya escaped, but somehow Kirgan was like two feet behind Jenya as she was running to the ruins. Which is so, like, that's so stupid to me. Like, there's a million... <laughs> There's not really, but there are a ton of people in that building, and Kierigan spends a lot of his time isolated, so how is it that she escaped at a point where he was only a few feet away, like, behind her, and trailing her, and realized that she was going to run away? How, did, how does that even happen? Like, unless someone was keeping an eye out, but it could be that they just... I don't they just wanted to go somewhere alone. I don't know why it does have to be abandoning or running away. And then his shadow creatures, whatever the name is for it, uh, attack Jenya. But because I saw a frame from a future episode, I know that she survives. So if you didn't know that, if this is your first time watching, I spoiled that. I mean... I don't- if I didn't know, I probably wouldn't buy it, just because it just- quick, abrupt, kind of like off-screen deaths, because it was, you know, off the screen, it just kind of went to David. I don't know if I would have believed it or not. So now David has the journal, he's gonna try to find Alina and warn her. So much insane stuff is happening, that was a great episode. The crow stuff always gets me, like- Puts me on another level of joy. I kind of want to watch the next episode tonight. I might. It's been three weeks <laughs> since season two came out. I'm so behind. I was so ready to be on top of it. And then I got injured. And then I got sick. And March was a horrible month. I've been telling people the two best things about March were John Wick 4 and meeting Tara Strong. The two best things that happened. The only two good things that happened in March. I guess also, no, three things because season two shot, no, four things. Okay, okay. <laughs> Promise, this is it. Four things. John McFour, meeting Tara Strong, season two of Shadow and Bone, and Daisy Jones and the Six. The only good things about March 2023. So I kind of want to make predictions about the series because why not? I still want to know if there's going to be a season three. I'll look into it after I finish season two. So they need to find the Firebird. I think, I don't know. There are so many ways it could go. It won't, if they are going to start looking for it, it won't be for a while because it's too early in the season still. We're not even halfway there. It's only going to get worse with Kirigan's condition. He's going to become even more out of control. They're going to go through with the proposal, Alina and Nikolai, and it's gonna cause some strain on Alina and Mal's relationship, 
perhaps, or their relationship will cause a strain on something. There's gonna be more tension between Kaz and Wylan and Jesper because they don't know why he has such a vendetta in this. Kaz is gonna continue to have his balls up. Maybe by the end of the season, he will open up more. Fingers crossed, let's hope that happens. I hope nothing happens to any of my crows this season. I'm looking at Crooked Kingdom on my bookshelf. I really want to read the Six of Crows books so bad. I'll read, I'll read the other Shadow and Bone books first though, after I watch season two. Which book is your favorite? Out of the five books, Shadow and Bone, Siege and Storm, Ruin and Rising, Six of Crows, and Crooked Kingdom, which one is your favorite? I will give my answer once I've read all five. Probably if and when season three comes out. I hope there's a season three. I don't even know how this season ends, but I hope there's a season three. My camera's about to die again. Okay, let's do the outro. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell so you don't miss my other Shadow and Bone reactions. We're almost halfway done with season two. There's still a lot more of season two to get through, so make sure you stay tuned. I will get back to my normal reactions once I'm finished with... Shadow and Bone. That's the goal. Also check out my film channel, Yasmin is in the Dean, where I'm working on my series, Trial and Error. Alright, I will see you guys next time. Bye!